The Lazy Gardener's Secret Make Humus Without Composting Every gardener knows that compost is the heart of a thriving garden. It is alive, teeming with countless organisms that nourish plants, improve soil structure, and protect against disease. Traditionally, the only way to access this kind of living fertility has been to make your own compost pile, carefully tending it over time until it's rich and ready. But what if you don't have the time, space, or energy to build your own pile? Is there a way to bring all the benefits of compost without the work? The answer, surprisingly, is yes. Thanks to an innovative product available through Soil and Crop Central, gardeners now have a genuine compost alternative that doesn't just mimic biology, but introduces living soil health directly into your beds. This isn't about replacing compost entirely, but about giving every gardener, even the lazy ones, a way to transform their soil into a vibrant, living ecosystem. Why compost matters in the first place to understand the value of any compost alternative, it's important to remember what makes compost so powerful. A single gram of high-quality compost can contain billions of microorganisms. These organisms don't just sit in the soil, they actively cycle nutrients, suppress disease, and form protective relationships with plant roots. Healthy soil is not just dirt, it is a living community. Traditional compost brings diversity. It contains fungi, bacteria, nematodes, protozoa, and more, each playing a role in building a balanced soil food web. Without these organisms, soil can become compacted, nutrient-poor, and prone to pests. With them, soil becomes self-sustaining, fertile, and resilient. Soil and Crop Central has introduced a soil restoration solution that delivers these same biological benefits without requiring gardeners to make their own compost pile. The blend comes in a carefully balanced box of powders and liquids, designed to jumpstart soil biology as soon as it's applied. Unlike chemical fertilizers, which provide temporary boosts at the expense of long-term health, this solution introduces living ingredients and natural compounds. It sets the stage for beneficial organisms to colonize your soil and continue working for you season after season. When applied correctly, this is not a short-term treatment, it is a long-term foundation for your garden. Even the best solution won't succeed if the soil is hostile to life. Before introducing the compost alternative, the first step is to prepare your garden beds. Remove leftover vegetation, weeds, or grass, and lay them in your garden aisles as organic mulch. Use a broad fork or garden fork to gently aerate the soil. This loosens compaction without disturbing soil structure and ensures oxygen can flow freely to the organisms you'll be adding. Once the soil is aerated and clear, it's time to mix and apply the compost alternative. Step 1. Making compost extract, which is optional. If you already have access to homemade compost, you can take your soil biology to the next level by making a compost extract. While not required, it works beautifully alongside the Soil and Crop Central solution. The process is simple. Place a paint strainer or mesh bag, no finer than 400 microns, into a clean 5-gallon bucket. Add two generous handfuls of compost into the bag, then fill the bucket with water that has been left to sit for at least 24 hours, just to allow chlorine and fluoride to dissipate. The water should be at ambient temperature so it doesn't shock the living organisms. Once filled, massage the compost gently in the water for about a minute swishing to release microorganisms. Do not squeeze the compost, as crushing can kill delicate organisms. When finished, lift the bag and let the liquid drain back into the bucket. The result is a concentrated compost extract that can be diluted later. This extract is powerful. A single 5-gallon bucket can be stretched to make up to 20 buckets of inoculant, simply by topping off with fresh water. Unlike synthetic fertilizers, you cannot overapply. More life in your soil is always a good thing. Step 2 is mixing the compost alternative. Now it's time to prepare the soil and crops central formula. The box includes both powdered and liquid ingredients, each designed to feed soil life stimulate microbial growth, and rebuild soil structure. 
Okay, so here are the exact measurements you'll need for the formula. Half an ounce of earth tonic, one ounce of earth kelp, two ounces of earth syrup, half an ounce of earth compound, three ounces of licorice, six ounces of resonator, and finally, half an ounce of earth angels. These ingredients should be combined in a clean five-gallon bucket. Always add dry powders before liquids to prevent sticking. Once everything's measured, stir gently with a stick or by pouring the mixture back and forth between buckets. Just remember, avoid using mechanical mixers. Violent agitation can destroy those delicate living organisms you want to keep. At this stage, you can combine your compost extract with the solution if you've made one, or simply move forward with the soil and crop central mixture on its own. Step 3. Diluting and Applying The concentrated mixture should be evenly diluted into multiple buckets to make application easier. Each bucket should then be topped with fresh, ambient temperature water. In practice, one prepared 5-gallon solution can be expanded into four buckets of inoculant. Once diluted, carry the buckets to your garden beds and apply by watering directly over the soil surface. A single bucket is enough to cover an entire raised bed generously, but, you know, don't be afraid to go heavy. Unlike synthetic inputs, this solution won't burn plants or overload your soil. After applying, you'll want to water gently with a hose or watering can to wash the biology into the soil. This step, you know, ensures that those organisms move below the surface where they can colonize roots and multiply. Once your soil is inoculated, don't leave it bare. Plant immediately, whether it's a fall crop, a cover crop, or even a living mulch. Roots provide sugars and exudates that feed microbes, helping them establish long-term colonies. Moisture is equally critical. Keep your beds consistently damp until plants have grown enough to shade and protect the soil. In dry conditions, water regularly to prevent the organisms from drying out. Once living plants cover the bed, the system will stabilize and honestly require less intervention. When applied correctly, the Soil and Crop Central solution is not a temporary boost. It permanently shifts your soil biology toward health and balance. By avoiding tilling, compaction, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, and synthetic fertilizers, the living community will thrive season after season without the need to reapply. The results are, well, dramatic. Plants germinate faster, grow stronger, and produce more abundant harvests. Leaves appear healthier, roots grow deeper, and crops develop a natural resistance to pests. With beneficial organisms coating root systems and even plant surfaces, pests and diseases struggle to find an opening. This is the closest thing to a lazy gardener's dream. Apply once, let biology take over, and reap the rewards for years. Healthy soil is the foundation of every thriving garden, but many gardeners don't have the time or ability to make their own compost. Thanks to the Soil and Crop Central Compost Alternative, there is now a way to unlock living fertility without the labor of traditional composting by combining carefully balanced natural ingredients with smart soil preparation and consistent moisture even the busiest gardeners can establish permanent self-sustaining soil biology if you found this guide helpful don't forget to subscribe to soil and crop central and share this resource with other growers together we can bring more gardens back to life one living soil at a time.